Hello YouTube, Diogo here from bestlife52.com. Today I will show you the best benchtop jointers of 2020. You will learn which ones to buy and which ones to avoid. So keep on watching. So benchtop jointers, they're great for small shops. A six inch jointer makes sense for 90% of all the jointing you need. And you know, sometimes people like to park their cars inside their garages. There are people that are weird like that, you know? So today I'm comparing jointers and I'm being unbiased. So this way you can choose to buy whatever makes sense to your needs in your workshop. So let's get started. The Porter Cable is the best benchtop jointer under $500. It's a six inch benchtop jointer. The dust port measures 4 inches. I have seen many woodworkers using it and it is the most robust jointer you can buy for the least money. The Porter Cable has several pros. First of all, it has a variable speed control. You can adjust it according to the lumber you are cutting. So that results in smoother surfaces and you can spend less time sanding. Second, it's it has a great cost-benefit ratio. Uh, the price is amazing for all the benefits you get. And we all know what to do with extra money, right? You buy more lumber. Third, it's the lightest unit in this video. It's 35 pounds, just under 16 kilograms. Some people could say it's a con because it's an aluminum fence, etc. For me, this is definitely a pro because it is easy to grab it, use it and put it away. And fourth, the motor is great. The power cable just, just works and it cuts it all and it is that good. The negatives about the Porter cable. First, it's the initial set, table setup. It, you need some attention. You need to pay attention to, to that process. Afterwards, everything is okay. Uh, second is that the Porter cable uses straight knives. It's not much of a surprise because it's also one of the cheapest jointers for sale today and straight knives they cost less than spiral cutter heads. But anyways I have to mention that. And the third aspect is that the, the Porter cable has just been discontinued. It is still for sale and you can buy it in the link below. But here's what happened. The company that owns Porter Cable is Stanley Black & Decker and they also own the Craftsman brand and they are they, they believe that Porter Cable is something that your father would buy so they are uh, grabbing everything that has a Porter Cable label and they are throwing a Craftsman badge on it so for now you can just buy a Porter Cable but you can also get the Craftsman, it's the same machine and just a different set of colors. So I'm leaving both links below and you can make your choice. So even though the Porter cable is not perfect, it's a great, great value for money. And you can also start saving money on lumber right away. The jointer pays for itself very fast. The Jet is the best 8 inch bench top jointer planer combo. This is an 8 inch jointer and planer in one machine. You can see some European woodworkers using the, these combo machines on their YouTube channels. So let's talk about the jet. First of all it's 8 inches wide so it's 2 extra inches and 33% more capacity. That's a big difference. Second, you, you can save space because it's one machine for two functions so you can joint and plane lumber. Third of all, the price. Uh, the combination machines, they're, they're usually floor, full-sized jointer planers and this jet unit is the only benchtop model. So it's obviously cheaper than a floor model. And you get to buy fancy lumber and make more stuff. And the fourth pro, there's an integrated cord wrap. This is kind of personal, but I divide the world in people who organize cords and people who destroy them. And for me, it's also in the details. You, you can see that Jet thought this product through when they were engineering it by those details. Uh, the Jet also has oversized knobs, so they are 
great and very convenient if you have big hands and big fingers. So, just like life, a combination machine has some compromises as well. The jet uses straight knives instead of a spiral cutter head because that head reduces the production cost of the machine. Another thing, some people think it's a bother, uh, it's uh, switching modes from jointing to planing and planing to jointing. That's a, a main con, but you can, you, you can save space and you have more with to play with uh, with this machine. Another cost reduction that you can see in this machine is that it uses aluminum and plastic in some parts of the machine. Uh, some people don't like it and other people just take it for what it is. It's a, it's a reduced cost so the, the machine is cheaper for some reasons and these are some reasons why you can save money buying this one. So, in short, if your shop is very small and you would like to have both machines, the jet jointer planer combo is the machine for you. And now it's time to talk about the Wahuda, the best 8-inch benchtop jointer with a spiral cutter head. Wahuda Tools is that company that used to be called Kutek, which stood for cutter head technology. But now it sounds like a school of fish. And if you are a guy or gal like I am, hit the like button and share in the comment section below what was the first car you ever drove. So, anyways, in spite of the weird new brand, Wahuda Tools is a company from Memphis, Tennessee, and they still serve Kutek warranties, which says a lot about them. So, first of all, this is also 8 inches wide. It, it does come at a higher price, but there's no free lunch, you know. If you need the extra capacity, but you would prefer to have a dedicated benchtop jointer, this is the model that you should buy. The spiral cutter head has carbide inserts, and each insert is four-sided, meaning all four sides are sharpened, and they give a smoother finish than cutting knives, so that means less sanding fun times. Third, the tables have extension arms, one for each side, so the, the tables in practice they go from 33 and a half inches up to 51 inches of total length, so you have more support to joint longer stock. And finally, the owner of the company is a guy named Doug Davenport, and he shows up on the Facebook pages to answer questions of, of customers. I mean, how often do you see that happening? For me, it was definitely a first. On the other hand, the Wahuda has an extruded aluminum fence. It's not the best, but they, it, it helps to keep the costs down. Otherwise, nobody buys anything, right? Uh, but in the case of the Wahuda, the price is a little higher. So if you put some more money, you can buy a stationary jointer and heavier more stable with a more powerful motor but the wahuda gives you a helical cutter head with carbide inserts and smoother cuts and extra width to work with so you know life's not easy and you have to make your choice but the bottom line is that the wahuda is the best 8 inch benchtop jointer with a spiral cutter head this Delta Benchtop Jointer is super strong. It's made of cast iron, including the fence. Uh, all the three previous models had aluminum fences. And this is why this is the sturdiest Benchtop Jointer you can buy. The Delta weighs 76 pounds, so it's unlikely the unit will ever move around while you're, you're jointing anything on it. And the weight also helps reduce machine vibration during the operation. Another positive is that swapping the knives is simple because of it's just a jack screw arrangement and uh, the built-in dust blower takes care of most wood shavings but you are better off hooking it up to your dust collection system to avoid clogging the dust chute. On the negatives the Delta uses straight knives. They're fine as I said but the straight knives they mark the lumber a little bit more than the spiral cutter heads so you you have time to catch up on your podcasts while, when you're sending the wood. Also the fence it needs some time to to the setup. 
but once you get it there it's very stable and precise and the price here is a compromise as well the delta jointer is a good choice for the hobby woodworker if you are looking for a sturdy machine for a reasonable price uh, this is entirely made of cast iron and it's the main difference of this unit over all the others so the powertech jointer it looks a lot like the delta it also has a cast iron fence so it's also a heavier machine vibrates less it's more solid than the others it's stable and durable however the reason I think it's a worse choice than the Delta is the quality control. Some PowerTech units, they have issues with the in-feed and the out-feed tables and others, they, they don't have any problems. So I like to play the lottery, but I don't like to gamble with my online purchases. Also, the PowerTech has problems with the user's manual. It doesn't explain how to adjust the in-feed and the out-feed tables, so that can be frustrating if you're a beginner. If you are patient to sort all these issues with the PowerTech, it is uh, a dependable workhorse you can have in your home wood shop, and just a fraction of the price of the Delta. But it's a gamble, as I said. The WEN benchtop jointer is an honest hobby benchtop jointer and it is one of the cheapest benchtop jointers currently available at the market. But many, many user reviews complain about the fence adjustment is the main negative side of this unit. From what I see, the WEN is very average. It is one of the cheapest currently for sale all the specs are on par with the competition, but I, 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 don't, I don't think you should buy this one. You should either get a Potter cable or a Craftsman, because they both have a variable speed control, or a PowerTech with the cast iron fence. All of these other benchtop jointers, they cost around the same, but they offer something more for your money. So thank you very much for watching the video and remember you can find all the links in the description below. Bye!